What's up, y'all? Yeah, I, th I think about t I think about right now. It's uh good good to say we need to put this to rest. Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder is not is not going to happen in April of 2019. We you, people can say all they want, you know, say Anthony Joshua has ordered or, or demanded Eddie Hearn to make the fight happen. Look, Anthony Joshua can't demand or order shit. Eddie Hearn has paid the pounds to be the boss. Eddie Hearn paid a hundred year a hundred pounds for that three years extension that Anthony Joshua accepted. You are you following me? So don't go around here talking about the fight is going to happen. I mean, come on. Eddie Hearn is only going around here giving us the information that he wants us to hear, and he's saying, "Oh, it's a two fight deal." You've been saying a two fight deal like two years ago, three years ago. Since day one of Anthony Joshua might be fighting Deontay Wilder, you have always been saying it's a two-fight deal. But now you're going to say, oh, it's a two-fight deal. First fight in the UK, second fight in the US if Deontay Wilder wins. So what, what what happens if Deontay Wilder loses? You're gonna fight him when you when you when you feel like it later after that? That's what it sounds like. Cause the only reason why you guys even want to fight Wilder right now, to me, is not because he has a belt. Is 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 not. It's not. Eddie Hearn ain't trying to fight Wilder because he has a belt. Eddie Hearn is trying to is trying to set the fight up. Because of money. He know how much money that's out here in the U.S. that he can make. He knows the obligations that he has committed to uh, the These Nuts app, the zone. If anything, the pressure that he's going to get from anybody that he's going to have to make the fight, and that's from the zone. It ain't from fucking Anthony bootlicking Joshua. Y'all might as well cut that shit out. And, and, and another thing, you, people could say, oh, the ticket sales is this. Oh, the pay-per-view numbers is this for the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight. But guess what? After all that's said and done, is it a good fight? Is it the fight that people want to see? If Deontay Wilder shows up to the fight and shows out, and if at the same time, if Tyson Fury comes up to the fight and shows out and show that old classic Tyson Fury look to the fans, it will be the biggest heavyweight fight within 10 years. People have the this whole thing that they have to have all these theatricals going on before the fight and in the ring entrances and in 90,000 people in the stadium or a sold out venue and a, a million dollar pay-per-views for it to be a classic fight. That is not the making of a classic fight. That is not the criteria of a classic fight. A classic fight is when two dudes come up in the ring and give the fans what they want. And at the same time, make history within that fight. Exchanging blows. Ring manual, ring, ring, ring leadership and all that stuff. But now look what we got. We got a bunch of haters in the U.S., and in the UK, saying that Tyson Fury ain't ready and blah, blah, blah. But nobody knows what's going to happen come December 1st. And let's just, let's just put it in perspective on what Eddie Hearn's M.O. is. Eddie Hearn's M.O. is, is, is basically saying, I'm going to fight this fighter. And we're looking at this other fight 
at the same time and then flipping the script at the last minute. So we all know that Eddie Hearn was already talking about the, the Joseph Parker fight way before, I mean, wait, I mean, before he was, before he wanted to fight De De Deontay Wilder, right? Eddie Hearn even said Anthony Joshua versus Pavekin. He put the date down and the venue down. Right? And at the same time, he started saying, oh, well, you know, if we can't get the Wilder fight, you know, we're just going to fight Parker. But what did he do? What the fuck did he do? He gave Deontay Wilder a bullshit-ass offer. And the reason why he gave him that bullshit-ass offer, because he basically said, well... You know, if we fight Joseph Parker and we give him 30, 32%, we're not really hurt. But since Deontay Wilder poses this big risk to offset to offset the uh, the cost and everything like this, you know, the greater of two evils, the 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 uh, a massive risk and all that shit to to overcome the massive risk. No rematch. And a flat fee of fifteen million dollars was offered. So, if you put it in perspective of what's going on, Deontay Wilder being the massive risk, he can fight Dillian White one more time. Probably can even sell out. Wim could probably sell out a whole venue, place it over there in the U.S. on the zone. It'll come on around 5 or 6 o'clock after we have about fucking 20 fights of a snooze fest. A snooze fest. So what do you think he gonna do? He gonna fight. He gonna set up Anthony Joshua versus Dillian White for April. And then maybe come around and start talking about Deontay Wilder again. Oh, but wait a minute. Now... There's rumors about eight uh, and, uh about Ward. Now there's rumors about Klitschko. Now there's rumors about Usyk. Now he can have another fight before Deontay Wilder and still possibly sell out over there on Sky Sport, uh, Sky Pay Per Views, the the door and all that shit, and have another fight and and and. For for the zone in the U.S. before the zone start bitching and be like, wait a minute, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 you're fucking up. Because at least that would give Eddie Hearn a, a some a little bit more time to get the uh, Anthony Joshua's name known up over here before. The Anthony Joshua versus Wilder fight. And then there's another conflict. Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. The zone or Showtime? Which one? Showtime's gonna give you more money than um than the zone. Guaranteed. I'm whipping out the calculator right now. Because if you got 300 Let's just say if you got 300,000 pay-per-view buys times 75, that's uh, $22 million and a half. You see what I'm saying? So if you look at the zone, if you look at the zone, there's ways to get the zone for free. And then just get rid of it. You just get one of your homeboys that ain't never signed up before. Or you just probably use a whole different email account to get the zone for free. So they won't even get that money. And it'll just be like, oh, we had so many amount of subscription this month, but the next month you ain't got shit. And it was free. You got guaranteed showtime money. Or you got some maybe... 
You'll keep your subscribers for the next month on the zone. So the gate at Wembley, it's probably going to be 25. Showtime, 22. And, and 300. And so if Wilder versus Fury does 300,000, what, what do you think the next fight's going to do? If, if, if we get the biggest, if we get the, a guy with three belts and a guy with one belt coming together like butt cheeks for for uh, a clash of the titans for und- undisputed. What do you think would happen? It it might be. Let's just say it a double. These are all hypotheticals. It a double. So six hundred thousand. Times 75. That's 45 million guaranteed. I mean, you won't get the 45. I mean, Showtime is gonna get his there's there's some overhead costs to be paid. But that's gonna be way more than what the zone is gonna bring in. Hello? Hello? You did you hear me? And on that note. Shout outs to the LDBC and everybody stay sucker free.